Hello, my name is Vernon Kurzweil, Managing Director of Extreme Flyers Toys. I'm here today to talk to you about my new product, the remote controlled helicopter car. I'm looking for an investment today of £75,000 for a 15% stake in my business. Extreme Flyers is involved in the design, development and manufacturing of remote controlled toys. My aim is to become a leading supplier by offering at retailers a range of highly innovative and great quality products. Our success so far has led to the launch of three products so far. One is a second generation helicopter, two is a flying terror wasp, and three is a car that can drive on walls. Last summer, I took a crash course in Mandarin and spent five weeks working in the factories in the Far East. Together, we manufactured the 5,000 units of our three products and they went on sale at Christmas. In one month, we sold 3,000 units, bringing a total revenue of £52,000, a profit of £31,000 and a net profit of £19,000. For 2009, I invented the next generation flying toy. The helicopter car combines two of the hottest big boys toys, a remote control car and a helicopter in one. With this new product, you can drive along the floor and then take off into the sky. With your investment, I'll manufacture an initial batch of 5,000 units and I'm looking for a dragon with contacts in the toy industry to get this into the multiple and major retailers. So thank you very much for your time, and I'd like to answer any questions. Thank you. Can we see a quick demo, Vernon? OK. Vernon Kurzweil from Manchester is eager to impress the dragons. He wants £75,000 in return for a 15% stake in Extreme Flyers. The young entrepreneur is already selling three remote-controlled toys but needs a cash injection to bring his own prototype to market. James Kahn is intrigued by the flying machine. How far does it fly? Will it fly to me? Um, it doesn't fly forward and backwards, so it can drive along the floor and up and down only. And we can actually fly as high as three buildings. OK, and what's your price point for these toys? OK, we're launching this and we want to sell it for £30 in the retail. And what does it cost to make? Uh, £7.50. OK. Uh, tell me a bit about you. When did you start this business? OK. Um, it was at university when I saw these great products. They were um, flying toys, little, little helicopters. And I thought, um, I can easily make these better. And so I was, always, I was always interested in going out to the Far East and starting my own business. And uh, initially, I thought, you know, going to China, a dirty old factory, I thought it would be a nightmare. But actually, I really enjoyed it. And, um, I went back in January to build a prototype and we just sat down for, for night after night making these products and prototypes. Um, it was great fun, I really enjoyed it. And we just went out and ate food in the evening and just got up really early and, you know, it's freezing because it's in, in the middle of the winter, but we just kept on going. It was really good, like really exhilarating. OK, and how old are you? I'm uh, 21. So you've just come out of university? Um, I haven't graduated yet. I, I've, had, I've had a year out doing this business so far. For 21, you've done very well, haven't you? Thank you. The aspiring inventor may have endeared himself to James Kahn, but Duncan Bannatyne wants to interrogate him further on his product range. Can I have a look at the Terror Wasp? Sure. I'll show you the three products. Yeah. So these three products are on sale, are on sale now? Yeah, they're in, we've got them into uh, 50 stores, 50 independent toy shops. And have you're looking for an investment and the company that owns all of those products? Yes. And do they all go up and down or do they fly forward and backwards? And the, the Desert Apache, that one, that can go forward and backwards. It's got a three channel. And that's not our product. And that's a factory product, which I saw out there, which I thought was really good. Well, well, just a minute, what do you mean it's not your product? You said you had it in a... Imported it. Yeah, I, I imported the theatre, right? Right, so you're importing um, and selling this and this? Yeah. No, that one's when we created ourselves. Vernon. Hi, I'm Theo. What, what else? Have you got in the uh, planning stages? OK, um, with this um, the t helicopter car technology, the combined technology, I want to create a, a range of new products, and one of which is um, I'd like to combine it with our Terra Wasp. So I've got, a, I've got to, I'd like, like to show you this. It's a, a plastic mock-up of how it'll look. Right. We've, we've got a new shape to it and, and it's got got wheels underneath. And it's going to have wheels that go around? Yeah, that's right. So it'll walk on the floor yeah. and it'll go up and... A fly about, yeah. Fly about, fantastic. If you've got little kids, they'll be terrified. Listen, I am the biggest little kid there is. They don't get bigger little than me. Can I have a go? Yeah, sure. 
So he just hovers. That can go left to right. It turns it. Yeah, it turns. Vernon's youthful spirit and enthusiasm for his products is infectious. Now, Deborah Meaden wants to test his business acumen. Vernon? Hi, I'm Deborah. Who owns the rights to the design of this? I do, 100%. Uh, and I'm presuming there's no patent or anything, because it's not unique, is that right? The, yeah, the design is unique. I have actually filed a patent for the um, combined use of powered wheels with a helicopter, and that's pending. And how long ago did you file that application? I filed it last week. Oh, right, so you've got no idea yet whether or not... Um, my initial searches have found there's no patents covering the helicopter car combined with powered wheels. Vernon. Hello. I'm Peter. Um, do you know who the market leader is in, in helicopters in the UK? There's several companies doing helicopters. Do you know my involvement in any of them? Yes, um, I know you're involved with Blades Toys. I own 25% of that whole organisation. So I could tell you a little bit about the trials and tribulations and the difficulty of taking these types of products to market. We started on the same route as you, and what happened was we realised that there is a global, very, very solid patent for these type of products. And as soon as we started to sell, we started to get into a legal ramification, of which we had to have a settlement and an agreement to go forward to, to sell this product into the UK marketplace. We're the only company that has that in Europe. I believe I'm um, working with a company that they've actually applied for their own patent. They can't. For, the new, for a new rotor design. They can't. There's only one way for a rotor design on a helicopter like that to go forwards, sideways, backwards, up, down. I've spent over £100,000 in some of the best lawyers and patent lawyers to advise me how strong their patent is, and it is tight as tight can be. So as much as I think it would be great, and I'd love to invest in somebody like you, you're going to be very successful. You're seriously very clever bloke, so we'd love to work with you. Thank you. But as an investment today, I can't invest in it, so I'm out. Thank you, Peter. Serious concerns over copyright infringement have cost Vernon his first dragon. It's a devastating blow, and James Kahn is now ready to show his hand. Vernon, um, I did actually try and work with somebody on a toy product um, and found it incredibly difficult because the buying channels are quite limited. And just listening to Peter and his experience, and I think also the fact that you certainly will need a lot more than 75,000 if this is going to become a real business with volume and profitability. But as a business opportunity today, this for me probably wouldn't give me the return I'm looking for. But I wish you every success. Good luck and I'm out. Thanks, James. Pleasure. Well then, uh, I've got a little boy, Tom, who's seven, and he's got um, a few of these knowledge friends I've got some, and occasionally they let me play with them. And they're fantastic, but there are so many of them on the market, so many different types, but I think you are fantastic. Um, so keep going and good luck, but I'm out. Thank you. Vernon, can I tell you where I am? I actually want to use as little words as possible because obviously we've got somebody here who knows this market better than anybody. But what I've seen in you, you are very investable. Thank you. But I've heard too much here to say it's a problem. So for that reason, I'm out. Thank you, Deborah. Three more dragons out, and Vernon's dreams of investment now lie solely with Theo Perfitis. Will he find a reason to invest in the young entrepreneur? Vernon, that just leaves me, and I've been sitting here quietly, um, going backwards and forwards as to whether I should invest in you. And I use the words very carefully, invest in you, because you're, you're obviously doing your work experience here at the moment. That's at, right. Uh, at uni. When do you go back? And um, the current success of my business has, um, has made me realise that the university has taken me to a stage I want to be. And I would look at um, either doing, completing the course and part time or, um, or finishing it all together. How did you do in your exams in the first two years? Um, I got uh, two marks off of first. Um, and my second year um, did pretty well. I mean, but I always worked hard at school, was done, worked hard at university, and um, I think I spotted this opportunity, you know, I'm, I'm dyslexic and um, that 
I realised education wasn't quite the road for me. I, I'm always creative and thinking of new ideas, so that's what led me to start the business. I don't think this is the right time for you. You're two marks off a first. You're 21 years old. You have the rest of your life to work. I actually believe you should finish your degree, spend that time developing the product further, wait for this economic climate to settle down a bit better, then launch your business. I'd love to invest in you if you come and knock on my door when you've done that. Thank you, Theo. But at the moment, it's not for me either, so I'm out. OK, thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Bye. OK, bye-bye. It's a disappointing result for Vernon. He may have charmed the dragons, but he didn't get their cash. He's, He's a very going. talented He's going young man. He's to be yeah. very good. 21, very yeah. impressive. Well, Vernon, that encounter moved in all directions, didn't it? How are you feeling at the end of it? I'm a little disappointed I didn't get the investment. There's lots of helicopters on the market, and it's crying out for something which is new and highly innovative, like the helicopter car. Now, you had this rather stark warning from Peter about patents. How aware were you of that issue before you went into the den? I did my research and find there's no issues with the patent. And I think what Peter didn't realise is that my rotor designs were a new product in itself. Well, we wish you all the very best. Well Thank done, you. Ben.